What up, hotheads? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. This week, we're reviewing a sauce named Dawson's Zuzu's Seven Pot Hot Sauce. I don't know where the Zuzu comes from. I should have looked it up. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, well. Dawson's was started by Brody Dawson the one in the middle, uh, around 2013. Basically, his music career came to an end, and he just started making sauces as a hobby. His dad, Bruce Dawson, the gent on the right, has been with the company from the beginning, introduced Brody to spicy foods throughout the world as a kid. And then uh, Jeff Edwards joined in 2017 and is involved in the making of almost every bottle now. The city they're out of is Hamilton, Ontario. Hamilton is known as the waterfall capital of the world with over a hundred waterfalls in Hamilton alone. Famous people from here include Eugene Levy, who has fame from such shows as uh, Schitt's Creek. He was the dad in American Pie. He was on SCTV. Uh, the guy's actually a comedic legend. If you were not aware of his stuff before Schitt's Creek, you should look it up. David Byrne, frontman for The Talking Heads. Although many people find him funny, I'm not really a big fan of Martin Short. Although I do like his more serious, when he acts more serious, I do like him in those roles. It just, he's, it's too much, man. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, bro. Well, let's look at the packaging. So Dawson's, first of all, they, they're like a gourmet sauce. So they always have the same look, very consistent. The Dawson's is always in that cursive style. You got the hand holding the arrows. As it says on here, established 2013. Other notable Dawson's trademarks are the wax on the tip and the stamp. And you got this cool little crest up here. Dawson's makes a lot. I've had a lot of their sauces. This is probably the 11th sauce I've had from. Really good. I, I really like them a lot. Oh, and the wax is always different depending on, I guess, you know, depending on what this label is. This thing says it's got a heat meter of 9 out of 10. So the ingredients here include red pepper, seven pot mash, garlic, sugars, vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, sambuca, fennel seed, ghost peppers, sea salt. So sambuca and fennel both taste like licorice or like anise. This might have an interesting flavor to it. This week, I'm actually gonna talk about a featured ingredient this time, it's gonna be fennel. It's Cause surprisingly we haven't covered that one. It's not an ingredient you see very often. I do make a really mean fennel risotto. There's a few other things I make with fennel, but if you're not familiar with fennel, let's get you a little bit more familiarized with it. Fennel is a perennial herb that comes from the uh, Mediterranean. It's related to anise and dill. However, both of those are annual or biennial and uh, not perennial. Perennial just means that they last longer than two years, typically. Uh, wild fennel can reach up to eight feet tall, while captive fennel grows to about five feet. Fennel is derived from the Latin word, and I'm probably going to say it wrong, but feniculum. It's a diminutive form of fenum, which means hay. And so the dried leaves on fennel look like hay. So the oils from fennel can help with the symptoms of nausea, vomiting. The characteristics might also include their antioxidant, antimicrobial, and basically all parts of the fennel plant can be eaten. The whole plant is edible, even the flower. And I don't know if you know how many flowers you eat, but it's kind of rare. I'm not familiar with too many people eating flowers that are normal. <laughs> uh, and then fennel is a good source of vitamins A, B, and C, as well as fiber, calcium, and potassium. Before we get any further, let's hear from this week's sponsor. As we get older, we start to lose things such as hair, erections, and continence. That doesn't mean you have to lose your edge too. Introducing the Hell Toupee, the punk rock mohawk toupee. The best part is that you don't even have to waste a bunch of money on hairspray. So it helps out with the environment too. Next time there's a punk show, pop on this rug and put on your Doc Martens and get in that pit. Or not, the hell to pay. Punk rock may get old, but will never die. Now for the moment of truth. So of course you smell vinegar. It's typically what you smell in most of these sauces, but I think I could smell, I think I could smell either the fennel I'm pretty sure the sambuca got cooked off, so it's got to be the fennel. It just smells like licorice or like anise. It's going to be interesting. 
This does clock in at 620,000. This sun is going to be a hot fucker. So those of you who've been waiting for me to burn my ass off, this is the sauce for you. Seven Pot Primo, or Seven Pot, again, the reason it got that name is because one chili pepper is hot enough to make seven pots of stew. Very hot. They're no slouch. They're probably around scorpion level. They're pretty high. This is an orange, very orange sauce. Orange red. Very thick. Uh, so it's got a lot of lot of the flesh of the seven pot in there. So this is going to be very fucking hot. All right. Well, let's not waste any more time, shall we? Here we go. Cheers. <clears throat> oh, the back of my throat is burning. That's a fascinating flavor, though. So it's hot. It's still increasing in heat. I'm burning the back of my mouth. Now my whole tongue is on fire. Here come the hiccups. That one's hot. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Yeah, that is a hot fucker. Oh my god. Woo! That's hot. Definitely a heavyweight. The initial taste, though, is sweet with the taste of the, the fennel on the back end. It's a unique flavor. I've never had that before. If you do not like licorice, this is not your sauce. As usual... Dawson's comes through with the flavor. It's it's a high quality sauce. Tastes really good. Again, sweet at the beginning. You get the fennel and then you get the heat. Very tasty. Definitely definitely a heavyweight. What would I use this on? Because of the fennel, it makes it really difficult to use this on a lot of things. The sweetness would well, it would allow it to be used on pork. You know, this might actually be good on like a, a shawarma, any Middle Eastern or kebab places. This would probably be a good sauce for it. It's definitely going to bring heat. The fennel might add an interesting flavor to it. I, I would keep it pretty much to like a Mediterranean food. Yeah, I wouldn't use this on Mexican food. I wouldn't use this on Italian. I wouldn't use this on... I mean, I guess you could use it on like if you just had like chicken breast and stuff like that. Uh, this is not a breakfast. This is a very niche sauce. And it's kind of interesting because Dawson's already has a shawarma sauce, which is pretty good. It's not my favorite shawarma sauce, but it's... Uh, Pretty good, and then you could use this one as well, although this one is a little bit sweeter. Would I buy this? Again, because it's so niche, it's not one that I'd have in my normal rotation. There's other sauces from Dawson's that I would have. This would just be, uh, I will try to use this, but again, the, the fennel makes it very difficult to use. There are uses for this. Uh, I think you just have to have something that has a lot of anise, fennel, or that complements it real well. So you have to be very, very judicious in how you use this, so. Next week, I'll be reviewing a sauce named Samsa House Smokey J. Until then, I'm Henry, and remember, spice up your life. Take care.